in full HD and we're in the dark. Can you see Yay. my shirt? Nah, it's not bright enough. So, we just got done watching the, the Baba, Baba Duke. Duke. And I was... Baba Shook. I was Baba Shook. So, okay, look, wait, look. Right there, you see like a weird face in the current color. It's like, eh. It's like a fish with like a thing on its mouth. Oh, how dare you show that to me? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, you go first. Okay. Alright, this is one of the... I've been we've been I've been trying to make the thirty one movie thirty one movies for thirty one days of Halloween for we're, two years now. We'll get them done at some point. All right, so Baba Duke. Okay. We all know the Baba Duke is gay. <laughs> it's in the whole meme and shit. It's an icon. It's, it's, a queer, it's a queer icon. All right, so let's get started. Um, spoilers, by the way. We're spoilers. Gonna spoil it. There's not a lot of cast diversity, which is not a bad thing. But because of that, it's a very closed circle. The climax takes place in the in the same house, obviously. The storyline, it's kind of everywhere and nowhere at the same time. Um, I gotta say the oh my god, it's a Kickstarter movie. I gotta say that for me, the biggest impact was towards the beginning. When the Baba Duck comes out, because when he goes Baba Duck Duck Duck, I'm not gonna lie, that really chills you to your bones. <laughs> well, at least me. Uh, the ending, the ending was a little fan fiction-y for for my taste, which is not a bad thing, but it's just not something you're used to in movies. Like they keep the Baba Duck as basically a pet it, in the weird. basement. And then at the end, there's this, there's these weird POV uh, shots from the Babadook's perspective. And it's like, wait, so where are we looking now? Where are we not looking now? I got to say, I really like the kid's acting. The child's acting was pretty good. Like I said, the storyline was everywhere and nowhere. Um, it, they didn't really delve too much into anything because they spent most of the movie just... You know, having the mom chase the kid around with a knife. <laughs> but I'm not going to lie. Uh, the Baba Duck, as a character, left me Baba Shook. And he has a flair for the dramatics. So I'm going to give this movie a 7 out of 10 because it was decent in what it did. Um, does, it, does it deserve its meme status? Obviously. Would I watch it again? No. But I'm glad I did. I'm going to pass this over to Ryan now. <laughs> Oh, it fell. It Baba fell. <laughs> so, the Baba Duck, I was Baba Shook, and Baba Spooked, and Baba... It was a Baba Look, honey. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, I will say there was not enough of anything for me to give my three criterias in this movie. Uh, so, we're going to skip that. I think it's the first time I ever skipped them. Because mm. there's not enough for anything. Uh, so Badassery? I, not really. Eh, sass? No. Eh. I'll get more into that later. Feels? Uh, not really. Um, oh, what was I saying? Okay, first things first. I only just now watching the credits. Why am I pointing? No one can see me. <laughs> I only just discovered that it's a Kickstarter movie. It is? Yeah, it said on the credits, thank you to all our Kickstarter supporters. Um, let me try and be sort of professional. I don't, give a, I don't care about being professional. The movie was weird. Uh, it was probably was not in the budget to have a lot of the Baba Duke, and like sometimes it works to like, you know, like edge your your like monster. Jaws, right? Yes, Jaws was I have, I watched Jaws once, but I didn't pay enough attention. But it was cool. Like it's something it's cool to like edge your monster and then like show it in a big reveal and make it horrifying. This one, I feel like the reveal did not have as much oomph as it probably should have. Maybe probably could have maybe, but. Up to, the workup was amazing. It was very fun. What do you compare it to? It's like let's say it's a slow burn, definitely. It's like or it's like hearing it's like it's like a it's like ordering something at a restaurant and you're very excited to get it, but then when you finally taste it, it's just very bland. That's basically what that was. This is a bland that was, dish. That, that was, was a very specific analogy. Yeah, like they played up to it, like with the book and the and when she threw it out and then she got it again. And it was and it was and it was like changed. That was I love the pop up book. I want that pop up yeah, book. I was I, I I'm surprised I haven't seen it being sold. It's probably that was probably a thing for Kickstarter backers. <laughs> See that, like something I will say is I thought the book would be more prominent in the story and it wasn't, so that was kind of a little letdown. 
Yeah, um, I don't want to be, I want to generalize, but Kickstarter projects are not... Are rough. Yeah, they're a bit rough. They're not super great. I watched a lot of Daniel Ibertson, Slopes Gamer, whatever, Kickstarter. It's not always that great. Sometimes, but only sometimes. Um, uh, what was he saying? Yes, the Baba Duke was cool. I want uh, that Baba book. The Baba book. Hey, look. Uh, the Baba Duke was cool. It was he's, but we didn't see enough of him. And I, I will say that one scene, it that one scene where he's like creeping up. It I made I I felt true terror. There was only one scene. I did. And of course, it does do jump scares and pretty basic horror, pretty pretty basic modern horror stuff. Uh, the story. I feel like they dwelled on too on some things too much and another thing's not enough. Uh, like there are very few supporting characters. Yep. Like and like it's it they left it very very oh, what's it called open ended. Yeah. I feel like some things are not resolved and it leaves me more like why didn't they do that in, instead of like a like a like an air of mystery. But would you want a Baba pet if you could Baba have it? That was weird. Like yeah, a lot of things they leave it a bit open ended like. Like it's not like oh I, I, I know I, I like I wonder what happens like what what were they trying to do there and I was like why didn't they do anything with that like why didn't they close it up it was a bit uh, rocky it was a bit more frustrating than intriguing okay. uh, the characters again as I agree with Amy here the kid is amazing he has he has amazing screams like can I say how Ariana Richards that they draws Park who, who was only hired by her because of her scream that was hilarious but yeah the kid's cool. I know there's that one meme. He said, "Why can't you be normal?" Uncontrollable screaming. And there's the kid. That's the kid. I was like, "Is that the kid?" And it was the kid. Um, what else was we gonna say about this? Ah, damn, what was I gonna say about? Let's see. Let Let's summarize. The movie is okay. I would not say it's a great movie. It's an okay movie if you want to watch a spooky movie and have and have fun. I would not watch it again. Uh, it characters are a bit bland. Not of development. At the, the most of me see is when she's possessed or whatever. Oh, but that she did a very good job there too. Yes, that's the most of them we see. Um, they they don't put too much effort into like branching out lot storylines or like a lot of backstory. And again, I feel like it's a bit. I didn't. It was well. I personally did not like the whole like not leaving thing, leaving leaving things unresolved. Uh, I really would have liked to see more about it though, but it probably wasn't in the budget. Like, all I've seen, just, like, the book come back again. The book. Yeah, the book was just, like, yeah. I'm, I'm and surprised more Babadook that, rhymes. I'm surprised that once they burned the book, it just, like, okay, fine, you burned it. Fine. That never works. That never works. It always keeps coming back. And maybe they didn't, they didn't want to dwell on that too much. And the last thing I will say, just to finish, this off, finish the, whole, the more critiquing part off. Oh, I just noticed that's meant to be a pyramid. Sorry, with Netflix is on a preview of Nailed oh, in Mexico. Shit. It's terrible. Um... Uh, what I'm saying? The ending, I am extremadamente confundida. What happened? Why is the Babadook in the basement? Why? How are they keeping the Babadook? Why do they feed it warm with dirt? I don't know. Like, mm, okay. I think I will have to give this also a seven. Again, it's an okay horror movie. It's fun, but it's definitely not my favorites. But the Babadook will forever live on as as a meme. And it will be Baba Shook. Anyways, that's it for this. Lord knows what the next horror movie is, is going to be. Hopefully it's a cooler one. It's probably going to be It Part 2. Actually, no, that one doesn't come out until September. Yeah, you can wait like five months, six months. Yeah, we ain't waiting that much to see more horror movies. And that's it for now, so bye! Bye!